Well, I wasn't sure what I was going to cover today, and then I forgot. <laughs> it's another day of the week, so of course the video game industry is going to give me plenty to talk about. I've got some information going on EA right now, then I've got a follow-up uh, video a little bit later on a trap I believe Ubisoft is setting for male players with their Far Cry 5 leak. We'll get into that in the next video, but for this video, I want to talk about Battlefield 5 and EA is up to it again. They, of course, have been bungling this whole Battlefield 5 release going all the way back to Patrick Soderlund telling gamers that if you don't like it, you don't need to buy it. And of course, most gamers did. Now, it's difficult to really know what the sales numbers are in terms of uh, digital sales. Now, the hardware, the physical copy sales are up and down. We've seen some sales reports in Japan show increases. We've seen uh, reports in the UK show giant decreases. So it's difficult to really know. All we really have is anecdotal evidence of hardcore fans, or you can look at the stream numbers. If you go to twitch.tv, you can just see how barren the Battlefield 5 live streams are. And if you listen to people who have played the game and done reviews, like for example, Angry Joe, he lamented how long he had to wait in queue uh, just to find enough players and things like that. So I think it's safe to say, unless you're a fully entrenched fan, and like I said and have said before, if you like the game, that's cool. Uh, Please understand, as a Battlefield 5 fanboy, that all of us are fanboys or fangirls of something, and it isn't a direct insult to your person, you personally. I am trying to cover this sort of thing because I feel bad for you. Uh, I've been there with titles that I really loved, and to see EA continue to disrespect the community is absurd to me. So earlier this week, we talked about how the DICE team had their launch party and chose to use it as a time to mock criticism about gender field five, I mean Battlefield 5. And that did not go over well with the fandom either. I'm not sure what culture, what business culture outside of video games would allow a celebration party to exist in the face of overwhelming failure, missed deadlines, and angry fandoms. We saw earlier this week that DICE managed to miss their very first attempt at a content patch, meaning this was a patch to not only fix errors in Battlefield 5, but it was a patch to also give the players the content. Now, we know that EA wants to view their software as a service and not give players the full software up front, instead giving players for full price half or third completed software and then to drip out, drip release the content that most of us have gotten used to paying for. When you buy something like Red Dead Redemption 2, you expect to have 95% of the experience out of the box. You buy something like Divinity, you expect to have the experience out of the box. You don't expect to get a tiny portion of it and then to have content released to you over a long period of time. If you play video games like I do, you don't have a ton of time. So when you have time, you grind it out. I sit down and I'll play for eight hours at a time one week and maybe I'll go two or three weeks without playing at all. I don't want to have to wait for the provider, the developer to patch content onto the game that I've already presumably paid for, at least in my mind. Now, if you're going to sell the game for $20 uh, and then say, we're going to charge you $20 every three months for six months or something, and you're going to get chunks, maybe you could do something like that. It's difficult to see a business model uh, that I would approve of other than just releasing the game every two years. That, I think, is at the core of the Battlefield failure. People are getting fatigued. There's definitely AAA fatigue, and that's not just with Battlefield 5 or uh, softer like the Fallout series. Um, this is evident that uh, people are just kind of sick of the same game every year, and this cash gravy train is coming to an end. I think part of that fatigue is actually why games like Red Dead Redemption 2 did so well, because the market, gamers, uh, of, all, of all ilks, hardcore, casuals, whatever 
everyone was so desperate for something different. Yeah, Call of Duty, Black uh, and Battlefield. Ooh, it's another year. It's another, uh, you know, tiny increase in the amount of content. It's like the same thing with the car industry. You go from a, a current year car to next year's cars. They're all about incremental changes. Just they do. They do just enough to make you want to buy the new software, uh, but they rarely improve anything greatly. This is built in, this is baked into sports franchises, which is what really supports EA as a, a recovering Madden addict. This is the game I finally, after many years, realized that, man, they're really not changing much in this game. All they're doing is updating the rosters, which means they could very easily release a Madden game every two or three years with simple downloads to improve the rosters or tweak the game. But they don't do that. They do just enough to make you go out to buy the game, of course. New teams, new players is something that forces you to do that. But this is something that they could upload or update for free via content patches. Now we'll get to uh, another time they've spit in the eye of the Battlefield 5 community going on this week. We've seen some really desperate moves from EA. We've seen them flat out giving out codes to people who are complaining about Battlefield 5. Hey there, here's a code that will give you access to Origin, all Origin access games as well as Battlefield 5. If you have any friends you want to squat up with, tell them to hit us the same way and we'll hook them up for free. They're giving the game out for free to people. And also, why are they posting these codes publicly? Why aren't you sending them as a DM? I mean, this is another, this seems really inept. Why wouldn't you email it or send it to them in a DM? What's to stop anyone else from just redeeming this code instantly? Here's more codes. They're just giving out codes. If you look at EA Help, these all look the same, but they're different codes and different people. These are people who are complaining about the game and they're just giving out codes. Uh, now imagine, if you will, that, and I know there are people that are watching this video that are in this position, uh, because every time I cover Battlefield or follow out a, a game with a strong community, I get a large influx of downvotes. And I'm hoping that you, they will continue to watch the videos and see that ultimately, I really am just trying to look out for them. Uh, Imagine that you paid 60 or even $80 for this game. Uh, you pre-ordered it or you bought it on day one or you, you, know, you pre-ordered it so you could get early access and you've been kicked in the groin repeatedly, clam jammed, ball punched, you know, whatever you, you want to call it with discounts. Imagine paying, look, when you buy a game for 60 or $80, and you kind of obviously you know the price is going to come down unless it's maybe Rockstar and they generally maintain the price of their games. And that's okay. That's part of it. But what you don't expect is the game to be 50% off mere days after release, which is what we saw with both Fallout 76 and Battlefield 5 around Black Friday and really just in response, I think, to poor uptake on the game. I think that they had their pre-orders in place, but they didn't see the original orders or the follow-up orders that they had expected. Now you see Battlefield 5, as of yesterday, now discounting the game 50% for veteran players. The absolute mad lads continue to disrespect their own community. Now, if you were to say, who is the most likely person to buy the latest in a series? Who is the most likely to buy Battlefield 5? It would be players of the previous version, like Battlefield 1. Or uh, who's going to buy Madden 2018? Probably somebody that bought Madden 2017. That's the most likely scenario. So you're pandering to people that are already most likely to have purchased your game already. And now they roll out a little hidden 50% off Battlefield 5. And that includes, from what I could tell, that includes the premium edition. Imagine, if you will, that you paid full price for this game at launch and you've seen nothing but this game get sold for 50% off. I mean, for that for that 30 or $50 difference that you are seeing now, you could have bought a whole nother game. You could have bought uh, Fallout 76, that's also 50% off. You could have bought a good game. You could have bought uh, you know, any game that was maybe a year old that you could get for 30 or $40, a game of the year edition. I don't understand how big companies like this continue to just disrespect their fandom like this because if I had paid full price, okay, 
and then a week later, everybody else was getting it for half price. I mean, you would not be human if that didn't bother you. And of course, the Reddit for Battlefield is getting overrun with people who are getting banned and deleted for complaining about this. You can see Battlefield 5, 50% off for returning players already. WTF. So before anyone downvotes me to oblivion, please hear me out. We are only two weeks post-launch and EA has just announced that anyone who owns Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 1 until December 20th are able to buy Battlefield 5 for half the price, including the Deluxe Edition. Now, given most of us here own Battlefield 5 and have purchased one, if not both of the previous main titles, we just got shafted exactly 15 days into Battlefield 5's release. Both EA and DICE have yet to comment, acknowledge, or announce compensation for those of you know, uh, you who pre-ordered or day one, knowing you're the real supporters. I cannot even fathom this decision. We are the current players and we've been robbed of almost 40 to $50 only two weeks after launch. This affects us all. Please help DICE and EA be aware of how absurd this is. And to be honest with you, if you purchase full price, if you purchase this game at full price, you absolutely should contact EA and DICE and if you get a response from them, send it back to me and I'll report on it because this is a spit in the face of your existing fandom, the group that's holding up your your floundering game right now. And it's pretty sad to see to see gamers disrespected in this manner. Let me know in the comment section down below how you would feel. Don't even let's say it's not even Battlefield 5, but how would you react if a game you bought was 50% off a week later and you still within the month of its release? I can't imagine the rage. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.